go live to Shante Lands at police headquarters with reaction from community leaders today. Shante? Jessica, I spent the day speaking with various community organizations. We've received mixed reactions. Meanwhile, the former police commissioner addressed the media one final time outside of police headquarters here. I am uh, obviously lamenting, lamenting a uh, departure simply because it's something I've done for 30 years. But despite what some think, I am leaving of my own volition. After the now former Philadelphia Police Commissioner Richard Ross left the department one final time, his temporary replacement, interim Police Commissioner Christine Coulter, arrived at headquarters. Ross, a 30-year veteran, was accused of improperly addressing gender and race discrimination complaints within the department. A federal civil lawsuit filed by two female Philadelphia police officers named Ross as a defendant, stating that he was told about the sexual harassment allegations, but did nothing to stop the behavior. It's unfortunate. I'm very disappointed because he's a very good commissioner. We caught up with Adriana Rivera with the Philadelphia chapter of the National Conference for Puerto Rican Women to talk about the lawsuit. For something like this to happen and for women to have to go through so much just to get their voices heard, it's unacceptable. Radio host and co-founder of Rally for Justice Coalition, Solomon Jones, wants the new permanent police commissioner to be a black woman. We'd love to see these, these uh, five or six black women who are in the command structure seriously considered as police commissioner, and we believe if they get that kind of consideration, one of them will get the job. And that group, Rally for Justice Coalition, is the same organization that asked for the resignation of the police officers involved in that controversial social media post. Reporting live outside of Philadelphia Police Headquarters, Shante Lands, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Shante, thank you. Our coverage doesn't end here. You can hear more from former Commissioner Ross, acting Commissioner Coulter, and Mayor Kenny, as well as read some excerpts from the lawsuit, all on our website, cbsphilly.com.